Hi everybody, welcome back to the Seesaw and another uh, grocery haul. Um, so today, or I got told off for calling it a grocery haul because that's apparently American. I need to call it a shopping haul. I just, we use the grocery term here for obvious reasons, really. Um, so it is a grocery haul to me and I do go grocery shopping and I don't even think about calling it anything else. Um, I know that so before I went to America, I would have just said I'm going shopping. Um, but I guess you have to differentiate when you're in the States between shopping for things that are not groceries and grocery shopping. So anyway, I'm not bothered about it. I just will clarify this is a shopping haul. Um, so I went to Tesco's today. I had a couple reasons. One is it's Sunday and I've gone shopping on Sunday. Yesterday, I just wasn't feeling it. I just didn't feel like going and dealing with it. So made dinner out of what we had at the house. And then I've been out this morning. I went just after they opened, which was good timing because I went straight in. By the time I came out, the queue to get in was with the traffic light system was all the way around the building to the back of the building, which is quite a long queue. So I was really glad I went when I did. Um, and then I had, so our club card plus renewal date each month is the 18th and we're still in our free period for renewing our phone contract um, but it's the 18th is the date when it renews so I have two 10% um, off a big shop vouchers to use um, between now and the 17th of December so I try to go every other week for that and that also means it renews and I can go and do a Christmas Eve shop at Tesco's with a 10% off voucher, which will be quite nice. Um, so there are a few things that don't include in the 10%, but certainly all the food items do. So, um, and then I also, Tesco also had sent me a five pounds off a 50 pound shop, um, little coupon that I can use for three shops between now and the middle of December. So again, that's another five pounds off. So any opportunity at this time of year to, to save money, I will snap it up basically. So um, I spent, so the groceries were £100, I spent 80 something, I'll show you the receipt in a moment to show you the savings that I got, um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't bad, I got quite a big shop for that, um, and certainly again, comparable to what I pay between Aldi and Sainsbury's, last week was quite expensive um, for Aldi Sainsbury blend, um, so this has definitely brought that average back down again for this month, so um, really happy with that. I will turn you around. I'll show you what we picked up. Um, and then at the end, as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. Um, so this, as I'm filming, this is the week before Thanksgiving in America. Um, it will probably post very early December. Um, I'm catching up slowly but surely. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today, actually. It was horrible, wet and windy yesterday. So I'm quite glad I also, that's another reason I'm glad I changed my uh, plans and went today instead of yesterday. But um, let me show you what we got. Let me show you our meal plan for the week. Then I can get this put away and get on with my Sunday afternoon. Okay, so there is the sweep of everything. I've got quite a few little treats this week. I'm trying not to get tempted by the Christmassy treats because in this house, if I buy Christmas treats in November, there won't be any Christmas treats left at Christmas. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be eating them. So I do buy a few bits that I know I'm going to need over Christmas and help to stock up um, some of the pantry type of stuff and baking things and stuff like that. But the actual treaty part there's no point me buying that until a lot closer to Christmas. So um, let me just show you the bill again. Um, you can see there when I finished shopping, it came to £100.47p. And then with the club card savings, the regular club card savings, that took £5 off um, and came down to 95.41. I then had my £5 coupon, which took it down to 90. And then my 10% voucher for a club card plus, which took it down to 81.58. So for £100 worth of groceries, I've spent £81. I really am liking this deal at Tesco's at the moment. Not sure how long it will continue in terms of them, um, the club card pricing, but they seem to have found a good um, strategy for sort of matching Aldi pricing. Um, non-food items, quite a few actually this week, some birdseed, 
um, a shampoo for Caleb. He still uses the baby shampoo. His hair is obviously Afro-Caribbean hair. It's very, very tight wound curls. Um, and I'm just not ready to move him up to the quite strong shampoos that, um, that are suited for that hair type. Um, he washes his hair twice a week. Um, and this just works. It doesn't add, it doesn't strip anything out of his hair and it leaves it quite soft. Um, but I do know as he gets older and starts wanting to style those, those curls, um, we're going to have to move up to something else. Um, some Listerine Spearmint, again, this is for Caleb. It's the kind of non-alcohol one, so it's not as burning on your mouth. And so he uses that one. And also for Caleb, some more of the little facial cleansing wipes that he uses in the evening. Um, toilet roll, a four pack of toilet roll and a two pack of kitchen towel. Um, bread, I bought the seeded loaf from Audi last week and I've really enjoyed that. I'm not a big bread eater as you'll know if you're a regular viewer of the channel. I don't particularly eat a lot of bread but I've really enjoyed toast and sandwiches made with that seeded loaf this week so I bought myself a mini one of those and then because of that I've bought a small 50-50 as well so a um, small loaf of each. For drinks for Caleb's lunchbox for this week we've got some blackcurrant hydro and some orange juice. I've got um, half a dozen eggs. I still have about half a dozen from last week's eggs. Um, some chocolate chip brioche. Caleb hasn't had those for a while, so either for a lunchbox or a breakfast treat. Cereal this week, I've got the bite-sized shredded wheat, which I really like. They were These big boxes were just £2 this week with club card pricing. And then I've got some multigrain hoops, which Caleb and I both eat um, just as a general cereal. Caleb had asked for some pretzels. Now, he doesn't like white chocolate particularly um so he said if all they have is white chocolate don't get me any but if they have anything else can i get some pretzels to try so i think he's heard about them kind of they're american obviously and we did have a pack in the american candy box that we got over the summer um so i saw these with kind of the sweets and things the flips milk chocolate coated pretzels and then when i was near the crisps i saw these kind of penn state American style salted baked pretzels. So I've got both. He can have a try of those and see what he likes. Um, pink and whites, I bought these last week and have had them a few times during the week. 10 seconds in the microwave, game changer for these, really yummy and a nice, it hits the spot with something sweet and they're only 50 calories. Um, pink panther wafers, Caleb used to adore these. I think a lot of little ones do. It's one of the first kind of biscuity things they start to eat. Um, we bought some a while back and they just didn't taste the same to him and then I tasted them and I actually agreed with him so I've got another pack but not sure whether we'll like those or not um, crisp wise I got some wheat crunchies for Caleb which are the smoky bacon kind of flavor and some oven baked that's just the salt and vinegar some Cadbury's mini fingers for little treats to go in the lunch box Biscuit tin, some ginger nuts, some Oreo regular and Oreo double cream. Oreos are still only 50p a pack at Tesco's. I then got some hard sweeties. Um, I love the kind of sherbet-y sort of sweet. So I've got two rolls of refreshers and two of love hearts. And that's just, if I want a sweet, a few of those will, will work for me. And then for Caleb, I got a little bag of the Haribo strawberries, which he hasn't had for a while got some rice crispy squares he can take those for a school treat as they don't have chocolate or nuts i spotted these in the christmasy kind of bakery area um chocolate orange mini rolls and they just spoke to me so they're not that bad they're eight there's eight rolls in um in there and each one is 120 calories you can see it there so that's not too bad and that would be a nice treat that i would enjoy some strawberry sauce for ice cream and desserts um some rice crispy bars again um these ones could be taken for a school snack um salt and pepper crackers i just like to have crackers sometimes if i'm having soup or something like that for work for lunch i just take a few crackers to have with it sage and onion stuffing mix a small and a large can of baked beans um chopped tomatoes a vegetable soup and a tomato soup now the soups were on special like um it was a lot i think they're 90p a can the Heinz soups and i think it was oh, i just can't remember there was a price for six and, an, and a, an even better price for eight but i just didn't need that many i don't eat a lot of soup 
Um, but I really just want a couple of cans to keep for um, a lunch or for work if I need it. We had a coupon to give us a free Lost the Pot noodle. Um, so it's the pot noodle company, but without the pot. So they're like super noodles. I got a roast chicken flavor of that. I got a passata and a jar of the smooth Tesco's bolognese sauce. This is under a pound. And we had this on our bolognese last week and it is really tasty. Nothing wrong with that at all. And for a quick midweek pasta when you just want it on the table in half an hour from getting in, um, those work much better than faffing around making my own sauce, which I don't mind doing when I've got the time to do it. Um, garlic powder, just because we were almost out. And some Cajun seasoning for a meal I'm making this week. So that's the pantry. Got a milk, an orange juice, um, reduced fat, squirty cream. I'm really liking having this on like hot chocolate in the evening with the low fat, low sugar hot chocolate mix. Um, or on a latte when I have my weekend lattes. So I've just stocked up on that. I've got two yogurts, um, the rhubarb crumble and custard flavour. I love that flavour. It's the special flavour at the moment. Um, so I just grabbed two. I'm not having yogurt every day at the moment. It's just, it's for me, it's a summery thing. Um, but I do like a yoghurt occasionally. Um, I got one of the just cheap and cheerful garlic baguettes. I got some quark again for a recipe I'm making this week. Just a little um, salmon and tuna sushi for Caleb to have with his lunch today. Um, he hasn't had one in a while. Two packages of mature cheddar, some wafer thin honey roast ham and some sliced roast chicken. Um, some tube yogurts. Caleb really loves the kind of apricot and peach flavoured yogurts, the orange ones in these. But the packs of just one flavour, you can only get them with like strawberry or raspberry. So they don't do the peachy one. Um, he does drink, he does have the others, but he prefers the orange, peach or apricot ones. Um, so I don't know whether to just start buying a big pot of kind of peach yogurt and giving him some of that in a little pot to take for his school in his school lunchbox but these are just so kind of portioned they're easy they just rip them open drink them and they're gone whereas a yogurt with a spoon would make a bit more mess um some strawberry cornettos some of the tesco breaded cod fish cakes some jacket potatoes um and some broccoli florets and then i just have really been wanting some lamb um so tony doesn't eat lamb Caleb has tried it a few times but hasn't really had much of it and therefore I don't risk like making a lamb roast or anything. Um, but a couple of people on Instagram in the last week or so I've seen with the minted lamb shanks. Um, one of the restaurants we used to go to when we were eating out a little bit more regularly had a nice minted lamb shank on the menu which I would sometimes have. Um, so I just really fancied it. Um, Tesco have these in their chilled section. Um, it's 40 minutes to cook. It's a single serving. So lamb shank in minted gravy. gravy um, and I just really fancied it. So that's on the menu for me this week. And then when I'm having that, Tony will have pork chops. Um, if Caleb wants to eat at home that night, there's enough there for him to have a pork chop as well. Some chicken breasts. Now, if I'd have gone to Audi, I would have bought some of the Cajun chicken sizzlers because that's actually what I want. But I've got the Cajun seasoning, the chicken breast. I can combine the two and just leave them to marinate during the day, ready to use in the evening. A turkey mince, a whole chicken. That's for a roast chicken today. So I'm going to get that in the crock pot as soon as I'm sorted out here. It will cook all afternoon and be delicious for roast chicken dinner. 12 Richmond sausages, I think, for a sausage and mash meal everyday sausage and mash you can't really beat richmond the price is fine i actually quite like the richmond sausages now i do like cumberland sausages and the various um flavored sausages um and the kind of slightly more i guess the special range sausages in terms of quality but for an everyday bangers and mash supper i don't think you can beat richmond um potatoes i there's a fruit and veg stall in our village that advertises 5k and two and a half k sacks of potatoes or 10k and 5k sacks of potatoes and i keep meaning to pick one up from there and haven't so i've got one bag of potatoes i might need more than that this week in which case i'll stop and pick one up from the village fruit and veg stand um some romaine hearts for salad some mushrooms some steamed beetroot and vinegar sweet gem lettuce for licky along with dill and curly leaf parsley there's a cucumber in there. I do have some tomatoes left from last week. A pack of three peppers, baby corn, 
and carrots, um, some mixed grapes, Cox's apples. Again, this time of the year, this is my favourite apple. When I was um, a child, before my mum went back to work, she used to go and work in the fruit orchards um, in the school holidays, um, picking fruit. Um, and before I started school, I used to sometimes go with her and just kind of play in the orchard all day, which was fabulous. Um, but they used to pick Cox's apples. So they were obviously all British variety. It was cooking apples and Cox's apples and plums and Victoria plums and things like that. Um, so I think it just reminds me of my childhood, a Cox's apple. And this is the right time of year for them to be really tasty. Um, the easy peelers, these little ones were a club card special price. It was about half price. I think they were from 130 to like 79p or something. Um, so that was a good deal this week. Um, some bananas and some Rose Dean Farm strawberries. These are the cheaper strawberries, but they actually look quite nice actually for winter strawberries. Just want to see. They're from Morocco, so the British ones are obviously all gone. Um, but they actually look quite nice considering they've come in from Morocco. Um, so looking at our meal plan for the week, last night we had the cheesy loaded buffalo fries. Um, that was just some French fries with chicken nuggets and I made up a sauce of um, kind of buffalo sauce with butter and honey to sweeten it a bit. Loads of cheese over it, totally not healthy but very yummy and it we could make it with what we had in yesterday. Tonight we're going to have roast chicken. Monday, I'm going to do the Cajun chicken pasta so that uses the, the chicken breast with the Cajun seasoning, some quark in there, a bit of vegetables in there. So again, we quite often have a pasta dish on a Monday and that one works for me. And then Tuesday, we'll have pasta bolognese. Um, somebody did ask a question the other week um, when I do my meal plans, why I sometimes have like consecutive nights of pasta or consecutive nights of chicken. Well, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that chicken is just what we eat an awful lot of um, because Tony doesn't eat beef or, or lamb and will occasionally have fish but um, really chicken and I don't like to do too much pork so chicken forms the basis of our menu plan most of the time and then we all love pasta so we wouldn't care if we had pasta every night for a week as long as it for me as long as it wasn't the same pasta every night um, Tony I didn't wouldn't mind that if it was good he wouldn't care so Sometimes it, in the new year, I'm going to do a video about how I do my meal plans um, and you'll see then why sometimes things crop up that look not logical. But the other thing I might some I do often do is I've got this as my plan, but I might get in on Tuesday night and say, you know what, we're going to have the fish cakes Tuesday. I'll make the pasta on Thursday and kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, so pasta bolognese on Tuesday. I'm going to have the lamb shanks on Wednesday and Tony will have pork chops. Thursday, I'm going to have fish cakes with little roasty potatoes, so just a little diced roast potatoes rather than chips and peas. And then Friday, we're going to have sausage egg, chips and beans, so real comfort food. So a few shortcuts again this week. I think this time of the year, you just have to, um, I just don't have time to be making kind of complex recipes. Um, work is busy still. It's dark when we get home. It just feels like it's later, even when it's not. Um, and you just want to get a meal on the table. So this time of the year is quite typical for me to take a lot of shortcuts and do a few things that rely on freezer items or pre-cooked items, um, but still throw in a few things to perhaps give you some ideas along the way. So thank you for joining us for this grocery haul, and we look forward to seeing you back here on Seesaw soon.